Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your driver's license is important so you can get back and forth to work, get your kids to school, and back and forth to daycare. If your license has been suspended because you can't pay your tickets, you can't do any of those things. Let's talk about Chapter 13 bankruptcy. You may have heard the tickets cannot be discharged, but they can be dealt with in a Chapter 13 case. Why not come in for a free consultation? The chapter you choose will make all the difference to your getting back legally on the road. Let's design a plan to pay off your tickets and restore your license immediately. I'm attorney Travis Gagné. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's Choose the Right chapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. BJ, I always love it when we have our next guest on. He's doing some awesome things for the troops while he's in town and the veterans. Please welcome to the show, Ty Barnett. What's up? How you guys doing? Ty. Thank you for having me again. New studio. How about That's you? right. I am impressed. I mean, I was confused at first because I didn't know. I went to the old studio. Oh. And uh, I think some cops are looking for me. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I, I just kind of, it's like, no, I'm, I'm supposed to be here. And it's like, there's no radio station here, bro. Yeah. So I found you guys. Thank you for having me. Yeah, oh, by the way, you guys still have the new studio smell. When I walked in, yeah. it's, it's brand new. I love it. I hope we can keep that because, you know, that's a beautiful feeling when you get that car for the first time. And then yeah. all of a sudden, the, the kids get in there with all their Oreos and sippy cups and it's done. <laughs> My wife's had a new car for two years. I still haven't sat in it. She's Hilarious. like, I'm not letting your smelly ass in that car. Well, yeah. you guys, uh, I, I love that. You guys got the ESPN feel here. This is Oh, yeah, we're high tech now, awesome. buddy. Awesome. Props. Nothing but the best for you, Ty. Thank you. And by the way, Ty, thank you for coming in. Because the show is sold out. I, if I were you, I would have said, since the show is sold out, guys, I don't need to come in here. I'm not done. Uh, Pat, why did you, did you know the show was sold out? <laughs> See, now this is the type of stuff I got to deal with. She knew I didn't have to get up early to be here. I'm just kidding. Yeah. That would be great. <laughs> no, you got to push tickets and you get here. Oh, right. somehow it just sold out. So oh, this, my God. This is a really cool show, though. So it's at Angel of the Winds Casino. Uh, and unfortunately, like I said, the show is sold out. But this is Operation Laughter. And this has got a military vibe to this show. Yes, it does. Uh, uh, Pat Wilson, actually, uh, who a lot, some history here, actually was my first manager when I first started comedy. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. She was the first person to guide me in this crazy business. So she put a show together, Operation Laughter, that goes around all over the world doing shows for the troops, uh, bringing laughter and support. So we're doing doing this at, uh, at the casino coming up tomorrow night and we're actually doing something uh, this afternoon at the VA for the for the troops as well oh, that's cool. I used to be in the army so I was actually stationed at Fort Lewis uh, oh, down I came here in 1990 that's right. represent that's right full of hope yeah uh, just getting chest hair at the time oh, I think uh, you so <laughs> now I don't know if you're in the same boat I'm in now it's like you know this I have enough of the chest hair thank you <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm pretty hairy now at this point oh, but no it's it's, uh, it's a great cause uh, to help support the troops, especially veterans, because you know what we don't understand is that these guys go sacrifice their mind, body, and everything. Uh, they leave families to to uh, to uh, literally defend this country, and then when they come back, I mean, we need to do more for them. So you're absolutely right, about. Ty. Because I, you know, every once in a while, I'll watch you know, especially around Christmas time, I'll watch an old movie like a Bing Crosby Christmas movie, and I forgot like how much the military was all over the place mm-hmm. in our culture, our entertainment. And and it was respected. People had a lot of love. Yeah. There was a lot of honor. And you guys, the guys in the military are still doing the same thing that they did back in That's WW2. Right. I mean, they're still like protecting the interests of this country. That's right. Yeah, a lot of Americans somehow are not given the same kind of love they did back then. It, it, and that's weird because it, it, there used to be this thing. When I, when I did basic training, I'm not going to lie. When I had that, that uniform on, I was a superstar. Like, I'm serious. Like, when I walked through the town that I was in, I was in Fort Jackson, South Carolina. And when you had that uniform more people treated you like you were a superstar and now it's not the same the only thing you get now is to you get to board the plane faster yeah that, that's the only Every, thing every once in a while you get that round of applause on the plane that, that's do, it that's the only you. thing yeah. and, and it shouldn't be that way it's why I, say, I always say the term homeless vet should not exist yeah. that, that should not be a thing like when I you know sometimes you go down to Pioneer Square and you see some of these guys and I feel bad for them because the government is, should be the first just like we're the first just like soldiers are the first line of defense for this country the government should be the first line of defense for these soldiers and these vets when they return back home from defending the country that they love. That's why I love what you guys are doing because uh, the Operation Laughter. You guys are trying to you're trying to make that you're trying to you're trying to make a difference in that world. Yes. Uh, oper- Let me tell you something. Uh, laughter is still 
the best medicine. Uh, and when these guys see us perform, I'm telling you, because these, you know, especially in Iraq, uh, all they're surrounded by is tension. And, and yeah. they got to, you know, so when we come in and, and, you know, we tell our jokes and we do our part and everything like that, thank God I don't have to get up as early as they do yeah. on a regular. I'm not going to lie. That's that's probably one of the hardest things <laughs> when, when I was doing basic and 3.30 in the morning, 4 oh, o'clock. I'm like, man. nobody's fighting this early. <laughs> <laughs> nobody's fighting this early. Why can't we start at 9? <laughs> Come on. Uh, Call the enemy up. Just tell them we'll just schedule the battle for like 10.30-ish. You know? They'll be fine with that because they don't want to get up either. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> exactly. I think that's where no, we can all agree. We pushed to 11, 11.30. Was, was good. Uh, so, no, uh, I, I honestly... This is something dear to my heart because uh, when I got out of the military and I went to the VA and I saw the conditions there, it, it was horrendous. I'm not going to lie. I didn't like seeing people like that. So things like this and, and programs like this shows uh, an opportunity, give us a chance to give back to them and whether they even be emotional, give, takes the, a break from them. I'm talking about from the vets, it takes a break from them from whatever they're dealing with here. And when we go to active duty areas, it takes a break from the tension that they have of fighting the battle because I mean what we do is telling jokes is minuscule compared to what they do but they, they're human beings as well so they need to relax as well well yeah man and it is it's, it's, it is a bizarre thing to me because if somebody would have like any kind of you know initiative and say hey listen we want to raise your taxes because we want to help the vets I'm like well that's a no brainer yeah you know I mean I, I think everybody in this country would be like yeah there should be a homeless vet and if somebody served this country they, whatever they need to get back to where they want to be before they left yep. who would be, be who would be who, against who's that, against that? Who's the Grinch? Yeah. Who's the Grinch against that? Nah, I'm sorry. I'll just, I'll fight the, the enemy with these slingshots. Yeah. Well, I don't think a veteran, this is so awesome yeah. to hear. This country should defend those that defend it all. Exactly. This is Brandon uh, from Tacoma. He says, my mom and I live out of a car right now, not vets, but we help disabled vet in a wheelchair. We were just talking about how no vet should be homeless. Oh, I love that. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and you guys can speak up more and let them know. Let the government, I mean, don't get me wrong. Yes, programs like Wounded Warrior exist and all that, but I got to be totally honest with you. Those programs shouldn't have to exist. They shouldn't. I mean, I, I love what they're doing, but they should not, because the government, who has all of this money, yeah. who has all of this money, all yeah. of the resources, all of these things that we can do for these people that sacrifice their time their and their bodies, we're talking about there. I mean, people come back not whole. We, we should be the first line of defense for them, and that's why I said I get that these programs exist, and I love that what we're doing here with Operation Laughter, but the government needs to be the number one person that supports these people, and, and the only way they do that is to hear the people's voice so you guys have to say stuff more like that so you guys speaking up now tell them write your congressman write your senator all your people and let them know yo homeless vets should not exist uh, you know what? That he, I couldn't say it better. That's Ty Barnett, Angel of the Winds Casino. I wish I could say you'd go see him tomorrow uh, along with uh, Steve Mason and James P. Connolly, but unfortunately, it's a sold-out show. But you can't That listen. actually is fortunately. It's fortunately, it is a sold-out yes. show. That's great. There's something that we can promote and other people know because you have a podcast now. That's Critical right. Oh, thinking. oh, my God. That's Wait right. That's right. Yes. Uh, Who let that happen? <laughs> Technologies. This is um, it. First homeless vets. Now this? I'm, 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 uh, I'm trying to be the puffy of, inter- of, of comedy. Comedy. So yeah. I'm trying to put all my love. So I got a little vodka coming. I'm just kidding. No, I don't. Oh, yeah. um, but uh, I do a podcast with a friend of mine, Ian Harris, called Critical in Thinking. Uh, I also do my own web series, which is um, this is the BS I'm talking about. That's not the BS stands for something else. Yeah. I'm not going to say it on the air, but it's, it's uh, that as well. But the podcast is awesome, actually. And, and it, has, it gives me more respect for you guys because this it's not as easy as you guys make it look. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not. Yeah. Like, we'll get into the studio. And I'm like, okay, what button do we push to talk? Yeah. Okay, that thing. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm ready. So yeah. uh, the Critical and Thinking podcast, check that out. I like the name, by the way, Critical and Thinking. Yeah, because we need that nowadays. Yeah. Uh, there's not a lot of, uh, it's a lot of being critical, but very little thinking. Yeah. yeah. You know, don't get me started on that. Will. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you right. It's awesome that you're doing comedy again, Angel Lewins Casino tomorrow. Uh, and, and Ty, of course, you, you're going to hang out for a little bit? Of course. You know that. Because I'll I'm tell you this what, early. Whenever, yeah. we, whenever we get it's somebody professional performer well you know well, we gotta let you take part in what we call a thing called Facebook drama uh, and that's uh, that's a great thing this time on Facebook drama somebody gets called out on social media for being a slob and how about Ty Barnett will be with us as we let you hear that drama okay. at 817 on The Rock BJ and Mix mornings on The Rock 99.9 KISW 99.9 KISW The Rock of Seattle 
presenting live day on Tuesday, November 20th at the Snow Qualmy Casino. Steve. Yes. Our show, The Men's Room. Yes. It's all going to be live. It's going to be a blast. Everything we do live, music, the promotions, the commercials. Yeah. Our buddy Craig Gass is going to be joining us. That's Craig awesome. Gass. You know Craig. I That's do. Right. And how about this? For the second year in a row, we're going to have a live studio audience. Yeah, you can be with us. And like Steve said, it's all live. What could possibly go wrong when the whole thing is live? Bands are playing everything. So this little background music you hear, this is pre-recorded. Somebody will be doing this live on Live Day. Everything is live. And you want tickets? we got general admission. We got premium experience. Just go to KISW.com. Now it's time for Facebook Drama. And Facebook Drama is brought to you by Beacon Plumbing, Heating, and Mechanical. And BJ, once again, this is our opportunity to point out the morons that are on Facebook. Yes. This is an actual Facebook post. The drama unfolds because of it. And of course, we are going to act it out. And this time around, BJ, you'll be playing the role of Melissa. Oh, right then. Sarah, you'll be Shelby. Oh, hey. We have our friend, comedian Ty Barnett, is in studio, and he'll be playing the role of Jesse. Hey. Hey. Rev, you'll be Riley. Sweet. Vicky, you are Tom. Yay. And I will be Johnny. Got a lot of people in this. This is a star-studded appeal. Yes. Facebook drama. Yes. Uh, BJ, once again, you're the original poster, so please take it away as Melissa. You guys! I want to get a puppy so bad! I think I'm just going to get one! You should! I got one last year, and it has brought me so much happiness in my life! No, you should not get a puppy, Melissa. Why not? You can barely take care of your damn self. I, I can't imagine you trying to take care of an animal. Jesse does have a point. Last time I saw you, you hadn't bathed yourself in like three weeks and your apartment was a disaster. Yeah, that poor dog would die in your nasty ass place. I could barely survive and I was only there for an hour. Okay, you guys all need to chill. My apartment is not that bad. <laughs> Why do you think I haven't come over in over a year? You are nasty, nasty lady. I'm down with the nasty, nasty ladies, so I'll come over anytime, Jesse. Mmm, nasty. <laughs> wow, Johnny. Gross. Yeah, Johnny. Uh, might want to pump the brakes on the creep factor. Thank you, Ty. Good job, Ty. Good job. My gosh. And the award goes to Ty Barnett, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, does that qualify me, SAG? Yes. Yeah, yeah, you're ready. You get your insurance this year. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. There you go. Woo, you don't buddy. have to make Sharknado 10. You're in, my friend. <laughs> While we're on a break, Ty and I are talking about just Facebook and all the things that you shouldn't post on Facebook. Yeah. Besides, uh, of course, like people get crazy with the politics, but there's other things as well. Just we would, What did we say? No uh, no animal abuse videos. No. Uh, yeah. Please stop posting pictures of your, yourself in your hospital bed. Uh, oh, I don't need to see that. Or your injuries. Uh, yeah. Uh, people uh, who's you know, family members passing away. The holding the hand of someone in a hospital and you know that they're dying. Uh, no, what was the, the one, one you said? You me. I have I, I have a friend on Facebook who posted like six selfies of her at the funeral, including one with the casket. Okay. Yeah, I can't I, believe that. Why? That's why? exactly what she told me. Was, that's <laughs> a little far. That's yeah, a I don't, little I mean, far. I, there it is. Yeah, uh, that is. No, wow. I don't need you with it. I don't need you to do that. And girl. what is the face that she has? It's I almost know. like, uh, uh, here I am. It's almost yeah. like you want to play uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yeah. What? Oh my gosh, you're right. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's, not, yeah. sorry. that's awesome. <laughs> see, that's that is why. Why do I, I need know. to see that, lady? I have seen that at a funeral where it's obviously not wet, right by the casket, but it's an outdoor funeral. And obviously right. the scenery was nice wherever they were. And they people were taking pictures because everyone's oh dressed God. nice. Oh, my God. So it's God. like, that's going to be something. Christmas card photo, and you're not going to know the backstory behind it. <laughs> you're right, Steve. That's just. I just. I, I, and don't get me wrong. I, I get people want to share their personal lives, but there's some things that are just man. It's yeah. it's because it's depressing. It's first of all, politics is already just so much hatred. I don't want to see death like that. And, and, and I get why they do it, but it, the people who post stuff like a bunion, oh, going to get this bunion <laughs> lanced. Oh my God! Yeah, why I do I? That. Yeah, why do you think that this is something I need to see? Mm. We well, talk about the ones that the video of the animal abuse ones that pop up, and I'm just like, oh, this is so brutal. Yeah. But then, I mean, Vicky is to blame as well. She's a fan, and Danny as well. They're into those pimple popping videos. And Stop it. I don't They're share fantastic. them. Danny shares them on my Look page, but I face. never share them. I will watch them in the privacy of my own home. I like Ty's response. Stop it. <laughs> yeah. I'm I've Ty. seen those. Oh, my God. It's yeah. just, oh. Come on. Now I can't have this bagel with cream cheese. Yeah. Mm. I know, man. The everything bagel with cream cheese. Stop no. it. See, it makes it even better at that point. No, it You're doesn't. Like, yeah. Uh, no, you guys are sick. Which is funny. They are sick. I yeah. love those videos, but when it's a fake one, when they made cupcakes once that kind of have that 
that popping feature or even the toy, I can't watch those. Oh my god! But I like the real ones because they're phonies. Yeah, yeah you you, you like the real ones. This is gonna be what real pus. That's all I want. Yeah, what yeah. the hell is wrong with you? Vicky? If you guys have a blackhead on your back, I'll take care of it. Yeah, yeah. that's quite all right. I don't need that. Done Danny either. and I are more hard buddies. pass. Hard pass. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks. For Match the- dot com. <laughs> Match <laughs> dot com. Hey guys, Match do you have a pimple you need popping? <laughs> I'm your girl. Just don't get it. That's right. City folks just don't care what's going on with uh, the pimple pot and uh, popping match.com. I, 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 there's somebody for everybody, and there's something for everybody. One man's pleasure, another man's pain. Okay. And if uh, we were also having a, a, a chat just about just how angry people can be on social media. They yeah, don't even, there's yeah. no tact. There's just, they, they come at you with such harsh words and such anger and vitriol. Why do you think, do you think it's because they know that you don't see them face to face and they oh, just yeah. say everything about, every, I mean, it, it's weird because I get, I'm telling you, I try to be as loving of a person as possible, even though in my head I'm cussing you out but <laughs> when I'm typing I tell people I won't name call I won't do any of that because it's the easiest thing to do but I get called so many names bro oh, yeah. so many names I mean I've been called everything to where I, some things I've had to look up and I'm like man I didn't know that was <laughs> alright I thought that was a compliment at first but uh, okay so and and, and I, I I hope it doesn't translate to like to people when people see you in person because when you see and you were just saying this so it is that when you talk to somebody and actually have a conversation with them, it changes a little bit when you're face to face. Oh yeah, it does. It has to. Like it you does. can't have the same energy and vitriol, right? When you're face to face with somebody, because now, okay, now look at me and call me a moron. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I it's, mean, it's totally disconnection, man. And and if you're disconnected and the only you're, you're basically you're on you're you're communicating as you're, if you're outside a window looking at everybody else yep. who's having a great life. That's how you're communicating. That's right. You, you're starting from a place of misery with this disconnection. Ugh. Yeah, but you, when you're right in front of somebody, you can't. You see their face expressions, you feel the energy. Mm-hmm. There's no way you can be that same jerk. But no. sometimes it does spill over where people are, are that way. And I, I'll bring this up because really? at least I know that Ty is a wrestling fan, so I won't That's get right. any fun of for oh, this. Oh, yeah. Brother. I'm watching Total Divas with my wife last night. We were catching up and watching it, and there's a wrestler by the name of Paige. And she's a very attractive person, great wrestler, but she had to retire at an early age because of neck injuries. But she's still doing stuff in the WWE, but she posts pictures sometimes of her in provocative outfits or whatever. And so far, so good. Well, there's a, what there's a group of people. <laughs> Page WWE. You can but, post those all day. But apparently there are some fans that feel like she's gained too much weight since she stopped wrestling. Are you serious? Goodness and if gracious. you see pictures of her, she looks great. Well, to the see? point now where people are walking up to her, she said there was a part of the, the show where she broke down and was just a mess because apparently somebody, a fan, walked up to her car swung at her and said lose some weight, fatty, or something along and those lines. Swung at her? Are you kidding yes. me? And she's like, I'm just a Person, do you not realize I have feelings? Okay, yeah. See, that's mental illness right there on and, that dude's part. That yeah, somebody needs to be arrested. Yeah, and she talks about just the the, the 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 social media backlash because she's put on some extra pounds compared to how she was when she was wrestling. And oh, it's so just, what? And it's brutal. And it's like I'm thinking about it, my wife and I are laughing. Like the people that are probably saying these mean things to her. Oh yeah, have not seen a gym ever. No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> would have been really cool. And if it is, if the, the dude would have swung, and then like in wrestling, like someone comes from the back and helps her out, yeah. <laughs> and, just, and they just start pounding. Yeah, yeah. Oh look! Oh my God! It's a surprise. But first, his music has to hit That's before right. he comes out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> da, da, da. I was like, "Where's yeah. the music coming from?" Somebody just comes out of the, the store. I, I don't. I don't honestly understand why people. First of all, we're a civil society. Are we though? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> we're sorry. supposed to be. Sorry, sorry. I, that's I, at least that. That's the plan. That's what we should be. Yeah, I'm that's, sorry. yeah. All right. So since we, but how we lose this civility is for some reason we keep thinking that your opinion is the only opinion that matters, and that's not that's not the case. That's not what the that's not how the world works. So when people don't have that, and, and like you said, BJ, I think it honestly has to do with your personal life. If your personal life is jacked, then you go out there and you lash out. At people you never you ever notice you never see people that are doing well just being angry 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 at people you never see that like oprah oprah, oprah has no beef with no. anybody oprah just like hey just eat these pizzas that i'm making yeah you know what i'm saying and read these books that i'm telling you to read that's it no one she has no beef no drama no nothing she's oprah yeah she gives stuff to people that's right you get a car you get a car well, you don't get a car because 
yeah, you, yeah. You, no, you don't get a cookie. <laughs> but you get a bagel. <laughs> here you go. And here's a video of someone popping a pimple. Yeah. Oh, so I just See how we brought it up? A few of my favorite things. <laughs> That's on Oprah's list this year. Somebody says, tell Vicky, I'm her man. I've had this one on my back for two weeks. I can't See? get it off. Dude. Could, I'll pay to have her pop it. I have all the equipment, the tools and everything. What for equipment? Extraction. Fingers? No. So <laughs> <laughs> You have equipment for popping You pimples? can buy it. They're extractors. <laughs> They're these little okay, metal wow. like tools. You actually went out and you own these. I own these. What the f uh, is wrong with your situation? So do I, yeah. No, it's good. The both I, of you. I can get this. in my nose like when I okay. can't get all it. Like it's for okay. me. <laughs> I get a all bunch right. of once. It's just psh, uh, I'm done. All right. Time to check my phone. Oh, God yeah. bless America. Has a little uh, point at the end so you can pop we like. We get it. Yeah. But but as, <laughs> as, look, as I'm gross done. as gross as all that sounded, she just got two more hits from some other dudes. Yeah. She's like, what you know what? It? That's my kind of lady. Yeah, yeah, check your kinda... DMs right now. I'm yeah. sure oh, they're I'm blowing scared. up. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. To think that I went dateless for so many years. See? I mean, really. All you had to do was tell people you had pimples. That's all I needed. Yeah. And you know what? I, I, I had warts once. Too. I had warts once, too. Oh, how's that? How's that? Oh. Is that too much? Well, I've never done that, but I will try. Oh, of course. I will move it. There you go. New I'm territory. A, I'm a grand experiment is what we I am. tequila, <laughs> uh, some sharp scissors. No, and, you know what, yeah. Dexter? I'm not going to do any of that. Okay, wow. thank you. Jeez. <laughs> unbelievable. Next thing you know, I'm going to cut up in pieces in the bottom of a basin. That's right. Yeah, I mean. Damn. And, and she'll post your pictures on Facebook. Oh, yes. she will. Of your but, body going into the Here's room. the latest guy, <laughs> serial killed. It'll be a selfie. Yeah. By the way, oh, high yeah. angle. See yeah. you at the crossroads. Sorry. Imagine if the Green River Killer actually was living in the selfie generation. Oh. I mean, seriously. I mean, <laughs> I don't think we. Could, I, I think that really. I mean, it's just nuts what people oh, putting up God. there. I mean, the guy probably. Hey, guess what I did today, kids? Oh. Uh, we're gonna catch you. Is all the cops would say. Well, you know what? You gotta <laughs> yeah. stop posting pictures. We're gonna find you. You know, that's how a lot of a lot of people actually have gotten caught like that. Like um, mm-hmm. a lot of people will post pictures of money laid out on the table with guns. <laughs> like I've seen it. Like people. Like, I, I have a relative. I hate to say. This. I have a relative who po- posted a picture of him holding up two Uzis. There's a no. genius. Yeah, and, and I'm just like we, like we write, we wrote him immediately, like take this down. And then he couldn't, couldn't believe he got arrested. I'm like, you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you posted it on yeah. the, and with the location, yeah, and you pinged, you checked in, yeah, you checked in while you had the weapons in your hand. I don't yeah. understand. The yeah. cops are just looking at us. Yeah. Hey, man, this is way easier than it was before, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for us up, buddy. <laughs> We just log in. Boom. Okay, we're going to pick him up on a second. Oh, and hey, here's a cat video. This, this, this is bananas. How many likes did he get on the picture? That's the most important part, actually, right? he did get a lot of likes. Yeah. That's all that matters. It's Hashtag so gangster fun. life. That's what it's all about. <laughs> I mean, that's right. It's happening. We all want our 15 minutes. It's so sad. That's so sad. It really is, man. I mean, a lot of the stuff that we thought were comedy shows, like Trailer Park Boys or even The Truman Show mm-hmm. or the movie Idiocracy, it's all oh, coming my to God. life. Dude, it's all I, happening. I saw Idiocracy for the first time time like two years ago and I honestly my friend would tell me actually Ian the one I do the podcast podcast with he hit me to the movie I hadn't got a chance to watch him when he first hit me to it I watched it and now I look at where we are now and it nuts it's but hey man I, I, I Okay, I can't even. Well, you know, Mike. You see, what you didn't realize is Mike Judge documentary. It's exactly what it was. (laughs) Right, Mike Judge says, "I'm going to call it a movie, but it will be a documentary in a few years." Yes, because you feel like, wait a minute, let me get this straight. You don't believe in anything factual at all, yeah. nothing. And the fact that we're here tells you, which and this is what I was just saying a second ago, we have more information, but we're more dumb, which is weird. Yeah, like you, you literally should be more smart now, but we're more dumb. And everybody's responsible for it. That's yeah. the thing. It's like, you know, the, the, the state that we're in in the world is because all of our leaders are culpable in creating yes. this ridiculousness. Yes. Uh, and and I, I've said it before, man, there's a great book by Brene Brown called Braving the Wilderness, and she talks about the dehumanization of people, and that's mm-hmm. That's how you get to have us versus them. Yep. And when I hear politicians calling people dogs, Ugh. that's what they used to do in the bad places yes. when they basically wanted to enslave people or that's worse, right. basically genocide. That's they right. start calling them these names that go, oh, they're lower than us. And yeah. yet, you know, I mean, uh, well, guess what? Humans are all the same, baby. Exactly. And that's, but that's, and I think the problem is that we have not held people to the standard that we used to hold them to. Yeah. And, and that's with everybody. Like, we always had, like, let us 
us be the if we had to pick somebody to be name callers, let us be the person, the people doing the the common citizen. You're in office. Yeah, you're not you're not supposed to be doing this. None of this should be cool with you it, on either side. None of you should be like, okay, yeah, it's cool that my guy said this to this person. It's not. You if you're gonna have people arguing, let it be the people that don't make the laws that don't have any say so in this. But when you got quote unquote leaders being the first people mm-hmm. to do this and the first people to say these names, people feel in, empowered. They're like, oh, cool, that guy said it. I'm gonna say it too. We have to come back to some point yeah. of realizing that standards should be held. Period. I can't. I cannot disagree with that. And you know what? Since you served, you get to say things like that. Thank you. That's how I look at it. Thank you. I mean, and by the way, because Ty and served, since he's a wrestling fan, you also can say that. I'm but not sure. With that's cra- I, 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 Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> yeah. I, I, only, I only do two impressions. Uh, Hulk Hogan and Randy Savage. And sometimes the blurring of the lines. Yeah, both they, they it is true. They yeah. can't go in between. Well, one does the vitamins and one doesn't. That's, that's, right. that's how you that's how All you they both took plenty of vitamins. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. That's a good point. They, they, everybody was taking those vitamins then. Yeah, vitamin C for the coca. Um, anyway, Ty Barnett, going to be at Angel of, Winds of, uh, Angel of the Winds Casino. It is a sold-out show, Operation Laughter, which is a great comedy show uh, for the military, and in this case, by the military. That's right. Uh, mm-hmm. a, a lot of... A lot of military vets doing this uh, with with Ty, and uh, he's got uh, he's got uh, James P. Connolly, ex marine, uh, Steve Mason. Am I saying Steve's name? Am I Steve Mason? Am I getting that right? Uh, he's Navy. Uh, you guys and, still kind of chirp each other. For, you got all, you got three branches covered: Army, uh, Navy, and Marines. Okay. Do you guys still chirp each other about you know which which branch is better? We know Marines are better. Sorry. <laughs> They're tougher. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. To you. Uh, look, it ties Army guys. So you know what? Uh, he's he's defaulting to the Marines. On uh, I'm being honest with you. I, yeah, I, stuff, I appreciate stuff that. that. They do. That I'm I'm sorry. I'm, yeah, I'm good. I can't say anything because I've never served anything. My father was uh, was uh, was an Army guy, World War II. My brother was a Marine, and they would every once in a while chirp each other. And my brother would go, "Come on, Marines will teach you stuff like eight million ways to kill somebody with a cotton ball and a toothpick." Like they know that type of stuff. I'm like, yeah, nah, I'm good. Yeah, that's why. I, I, that's why I never fight with my brother. Because <laughs> I see at his house a lot of cotton balls and a lot of toothpicks. He's just looking for a reason to try it. And as we learned, the Marines are also really good at drying penises when they're flying. Did you see that? No. Oh, oh my gosh! Two yeah. Marine pilots got in trouble because they they drew uh, a penis in the sky with the you know with the the satellite. Oh, you know what I thought you said? I thought you said drying penises. Whether oh, they do all the Are you serious? They just stick their penis outside yeah, of the that's thing. okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's a thing. A, that's a military thing, from what I understand. Yeah, that's okay. It's a uh, sky penis kids. affair. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I, lo- I love the Marines. Yeah, they basically. Yeah, they so on the satellite out. when oh they're flying, God, they hilarious. basically they it got to they got to make a penis. Uh, wow. These guys are great. This is why the Marines win. Balls and everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Balls everything. and everything. You know what? That's going to be our catchphrase for the rest of the morning. Balls and everything. Balls and everything. <laughs> so uh, yesterday, Steve, he did get this one right. What is the longest and heaviest bone in the human body? The dom. No. <laughs> uh, femur. Yes. How did you get that one right? Because I'm smart, BJ. I don't know if I want to go there. Hey, how about this, though? Ty is here. How would you like Ty to play for you against Steve and beat Miggs? If you want that, call us at 206. Let's go. Come on. Did I win last time? I don't know. Probably. 206 421 Rock. Remember, beat Miggs 847. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. How do I figure out who my creditors are? Now, people, a lot of times, have had a lot, a long time of not having good credit and having collections, and so they, they're concerned that uh, you may be concerned that you you won't be able to find all your creditors if you file bankruptcy. How will I know which collection agency has my credit card bill from ten years ago now? Uh, and that's that's something. It's hard to keep track of when, because credit collection agencies transfer your debts all over the place. But we will pull all your credit bureaus, and by getting all three of your credit bureaus, we'll be able to tell who has your credit and debt now, uh, which collection agencies have had it in the past, and we'll make sure that we file all your creditors when we file your bankruptcy so that nothing slips through the cracks. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. Love sports? Love culture? Well, I've got a brand new podcast called Take Line from Crooked Media, hosted by me, Jason Concepcion, and two-time WNBA champion Renee Montgomery. From the games to the players to the issues happening both on and off the court, we'll be tackling the important political and social issues happening in sports head on. New episodes drop every Tuesday, so follow and subscribe on Radio.com, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.